Management Part 1 Preparation for being a charge nurse will depend on your state's Nurse Practice Act. Because the Practice Act will vary from state to ta state, again, you have to be familiar with the guidelines of the state in which you're working. It may require additional education. Preparation also depends on your motivation to learn the manager role, your ability to be a risk taker, and how you use your nursing experience. According to the 2006 practice analysis by the NCSBN to gather data for content areas for the NCLEX PN, 48.2% of LPNs state that they regularly had one or more administrative roles. 72.4% of those with administrative roles worked in long-term care and 58% of those with administrative roles in long-term care indicated that the charge nurse position was their administrative role. The charge nurse can help a unit run more smoothly by being knowledgeable about job duties and all departments that the nursing assistants have contact with, including the following. Facility organization or legal aspects federal, state, and privacy agency regulations, personnel policies, records and unit routines, unit administration, safety policies, housekeeping, maintenance and supplies, equipment, how to use it and where it's obtained. Knowing where to find equipment and supplies can save a lot of time and frustration. Food service for residents, nursing care procedures or assisting the physician, medications, documentation, special areas, and miscellaneous things that the charge nurse should be familiar with. The charge nurse needs to know the mission statement. It is facility-based and it's usually the root of the care that is provided within that facility. The charge nurse needs to know the organizational chart, who to go to and whose job is what. Know not only the Nurse Practice Act regarding your responsibilities, but the other healthcare workers that you work directly with. Skills checklists will allow the LPN to know what areas the staff can competently function in knowing the facility's protocol and the ability to perform the task. Job descriptions and duties of all staff allow the LPN to know who and what the healthcare team can participate in. S federal, state, and private agency regulations include inspection protocols. Knowing these can help you follow a continuous quality improvement plan versus just getting ready weeks prior to and an inspection. And know the state requirements as well as the federal requirements. Current federal regulations including HIPAA and state regulations, regulations of the Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act of 1987 or OBRA, Regulations for the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS. Regulations of the Joint Commission, if the facility seeks TJC accreditation. And know the current and up-to-date information, because it's going to allow you to educate the staff in the correct regulations. As far as personnel policies, it's going to be the role of the charge nurse to uphold institutional policies by responding to personnel with accurate information and explaining why they will be or need to be upheld. The employee manual knowledge allows the charge nurse to follow through with policies and procedures relating to employees. And this allows the charge nurse to implement and follow through with policies. Every facility is going to be a little different in how things are run, how procedures are completed, and the paperwork that is required, and the charge nurse needs to be aware of these. 
again, an effective charge nurse knows most everything there is to know in the function of a facility. <coughs> Excuse me, this is my personal pet peeve in that leaders or managers are brought from outside the facility and expected to know how the facility runs. A better leader, in my opinion, <coughs> is someone that comes from within the facility and is familiar with the function of the facility. It takes someone from the outside a lot longer to learn how things are done in that particular area. The charge nurse has to be familiar with the facility's particular safety policies. The charge nurse even monitors, now not supervises, but monitors housekeeping and maintenance chores and needs because they have to make sure that the unit is functioning smoothly. The charge nurse has to know where to obtain equipment and how to appropriately use that equipment because the charge nurse may be the only one that knows. The charge nurse monitors the dietary status of the residents to help make certain that all nutritional needs are being met. Charge nurses are also required to perform patient care activities. And additional patient care activities can include different systems that are used for pressure ulcer care, collecting, delivering, and labeling specimens, assisting with foot care, policies for sterile technique procedures, blood glucose monitoring, colostomy care, NG and gastrostomy tubes, being able to flush, feed, or administer medications through them, standard precautions and post-mortem procedures. The charge nurse is the person that people turn to when there is a question on how something should be completed or something should be done within a facility. So charge nurses make certain that policies are being followed regarding all medications. The charge nurse helps assure that appropriate documentation is being completed by the entire team. The charge nurse has to be familiar again with all areas, so it's possible to provide the continuity of care outside of the department's normal operating hours. So in other words, if laundry is not working during the night shift, the charge nurse needs to be familiar with how to run the, the equipment and the procedures in the laundry room uh, in case there is a need for something to be laundered in the middle of the night or the dining room you know what particular policies have to be followed in the kitchen in obtaining food for middle of the night snacks for the residents etc again the charge nurse has to be very familiar with the function of a facility to be an effective manager <coughs>